question 4a of the January 2018 CSEC maths paper. Question 4a says the equation of a straight line L is given as 3x minus 4y is equal to 5. Write the equation of the line L in the form y equal mx plus c. Let's see what happens here. You have 3x minus 4y equal 5. You want it in the form y equal mx plus c. So here, get rid of 3x. Then get rid of minus 4. And you have y alone equal. So that's the first thing you're going to do. So, how do you get rid of 3x? You subtract 3x from both sides. Alright? So you have 3x, let me leave a space, minus 4y is equal to 5. You, you're going to subtract 3x. So you have minus 3x, minus 3x. Alright? 3x minus itself, that's gone. You don't have to worry about it anymore. What you're left with is negative 4y is equal to 5 minus 3x. Then you want y alone. So you divide by negative 4. Negative 4 cancels itself. Let me just put a mark, a line here and continue over here. You have y alone left on the left hand side of the equation. If you divide the left hand side by negative 4, you must divide the right hand side by negative 4 as well. So you have 5 minus 3x over negative 4. Now this is the same thing as separating them and having it as 5 over negative 4 minus 3x over negative 4. Alright? Now you could simplify this a bit by saying 5 over negative 4 is the same as 5, negative 5 fourth minus 3 over negative 3, oh, 3x over negative 4 is the same as minus negative 3 quarters same thing as plus 3 quarters x alright now what you have here so far is y is equal to negative 5 quarters plus 3 quarters x. You rewrite it in the way they want and what you have is y is equal to, put the x part in front, 3 quarter x minus 5 fourth. Now I have minus 5 fourth. You could also put it as plus negative 5 fourth to show the clear plus c here. So you see that c is negative 5 fourth m is 3 quarter all right now part 2 says uh, hence determine the gradient of the line l all right here generally m is the gradient the number that multiplies x is the gradient in other words the coefficient of x is the gradient and this is 3 quarters so the gradient is 3 quarters all right so you'll see that. Now, let us look further on the question and see what it says. Part 3 says, The point P with coordinates R2 lies on the line L. Determine the value of R. Alright, let's make space here and continue working. There is a point on the line, R2. Obviously, this is x and this is y on the point. So at that point, x is equal to r, y is equal to 2. Now, here, we want to find r. This is y is equal to 3x plus negative 5 fourths y is equal to 3x 
3 quarter x I should say plus negative 5 fourths now here you see that x is r y is 2 so let's rewrite this but instead of writing y again we're going to write 2 instead of writing x we're going to write r so you have 2 is equal to 3 quarters r plus negative 5 fourth we could just write minus 5 fourth all right <coughs> they use a lowercase r i use an uppercase r here should you use an lowercase r so what we have you could multiply both sides by 4 but multiply throughout by 4 right what you could also do is add 5 4 to both sides but any way you want to do it I'm going to multiply throughout by 4 so I have 2 by 4 3 quarter R by 4 negative 5 4 by 4 no, 2 by 4 is 8. So it's 8 is equal to 4 cancels 4. So you have 3R minus 4 cancels 4. You have 5. Add 5 to both sides to get rid of 5. And then divide by 3 to get rid of 3. So that you have R alone. So we have 8 is equal to 3R minus 5. If you add 5 here and add 5 here, negative 5 plus itself, that's gone. 8 and 5, 13. 13 is equal to 3R. One more thing you need to do. Just divide by 3. Now I'm going to write 3R on the left and 13 on the right. As we're more accustomed to. Divide by 3. 3 cancels 3. You have r is equal to, divide by 3, 13 over 3. So, the value of r is 13 thirds, 13 over 3. Alright? Let's see what else they want us to do with this question. a bit of a delay in the response of the software I'm going to need to restart the computer and I'm finished with this to refresh the memory the RAM is kind of overloaded now all right the next thing a while ago we saw the value of R some spaces up here so let's see what's going to happen find the equation of the straight line which passes through the point six zero which is perpendicular to l all right we need the formula very important so let's put the formula down somewhere the equation of this line i mean somewhere it says y is equal to 3 quarter x plus negative 5 fourth all right y equals 3 quarter x plus negative 5 fourth same as minus 5 fourth let's just erase some of this thing to make space to work now the fact that this other line is perpendicular to the line L. Do you remember what that means? What does that imply in terms of the gradient? What's the gradient of this new line that is perpendicular to L? You have to remember that when two lines are perpendicular, the gradients multiply to give negative 1. Alright? So... If I call the gradient of the line 2, M2, I would say M2 multiplied by 3 quarters to give negative 1. So what is M2? M2 would be if I 
multiply by 4 and divide by 3, <coughs> I would get M2. In other words, all right, another case is that I could divide both sides by 3 quarters to get M2. If I divide by 3 quarters, 3 quarters cancel 3 quarters, so I have M2, the gradient of line 2. I must divide the right hand side by 3 quarters. Now what happens here is negative 1 multiplied by the reciprocal of the denominator fraction here, 4 thirds. So you see, multiplying by 4 and dividing by 3 would give, would get rid of 3 quarters. All right? So what you have is negative 1 times 4 over 3 is negative 4 thirds. That is the gradient of the second line. All right. So the gradient of line L, the first line, was 3 quarters. The gradient of the second line was negative 4 thirds. So that both of them multiply to give negative 1. If you multiply 3 quarters by negative 4 thirds, you get negative 1. All right. You could try it before you continue. Pause the video and try it and you will see that it works. Now, here, the equation of that line. So far, we know that the general equation of the line would be y is equal to m2, the second gradient, negative 4 third x plus c, whatever it is. Now we need to find C to get the equation of the line. So we use this point. At this point, we have an X which is 6 and a Y which is 0. So 0 is equal to negative 4 thirds times X which is times 6 plus C. If we multiply these and cancel out 3 into 3 1 3 into 6 is 2 we have 0 is equal to negative 4 by 2 plus c 4 2 is 8 so let's continue here <coughs> we have 0 is equal to negative 8 plus c so when you work it out let me rewrite this 0 is equal to negative 8 plus c good when you work it out you add 8 to both sides so you have 8 plus 0 is 8 is equal to negative 8 plus itself that's gone is equal to c so c is 8 so the finally the equation of that line is y is equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 8 all right so that's the equation of the line the answer Now, let's see what else is happening with the question, all right? There's 4B. All right, we will do 4B next time. So, I will see you then.